Q&A. That was funny. Uh, let me get this out of here. Whoops, wrong one. <clears throat> comments. So many. So many comments. Uh, Bright says, you are such a Cardano shill. That's what I don't get about you. Otherwise, love you to bits. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. I need that Cardano at two bucks so I can leave. $2 Cardano would be pretty great. I, I got to tell you, uh, you know, in 2018, 2019, when Cardano was seven cents, nine cents, I was like, I think I'd do pretty well once it gets a main net and gets some smart contracts. Worked out okay. Uh, Capra Die says, Jarky, thanks for the membership. Jarky's always giving out uh, memberships. Thank you. Appreciate it so much. Vicky says, I'm glad to see Cornucopia is here. Josh and Rob are legends. Looks like they've been doing a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, Hotsky says, is anyone seeing this or was I blocked again for liking Cardano? See, Rob's a, Rob's a Cardano shill, but he blocks people. It's, it's, we see you, man. Uh, Alex Mansfield, old or new, stay in, we're all winners. And this would go back to uh, the survey that we took a look at where most people were saying that their crypto portfolio underperformed. I get that. Just if you don't like the price, it's like, it's like the rain in Puerto Rico. Just wait around. Uh, it, it'll change. Uh, crypto golfer currently getting crushed, not leaving, never leaving. See, that was my thing too. In 20, 2018, I was like, wow, I just lost 75, 80% of my whole entire portfolio in uh, three weeks. I should probably stick around. <laughs> that, was my, that was my thought process. I have words longer than most people in the asset. Most people have been in a year or less, so that's, that's not a surprise. It's a surprise to me because I have this flaw, and the flaw is I think people are like me and they've been around for a while, but then I realize that's not true. People really have just come in in 2021, and that's it. Not meme crazy is in the eye of the beholder. Very true. Gary says, we rich people are crazy. Yeah. Rich people crazy, Robbie Rich. I'm not rich. I'm doing okay. I will continue to bang this drum. If your money is locked on Celsius or Voyager, you're not stupid. Do not be ashamed. Multi-billion dollar companies got tricked. Suicide's never an option. That's very true. My money's there too. Even Mark Cuban, as smart as he is, even his money's there. There was a pension fund in Canada. Guess what? 150 million. Their money's there. They and and do you not think that they did their due diligence to take a look at those at those companies? A lot of people did. We just got we got screwed by a company that wrote checks the body couldn't cash. That's really what it comes down to. I'm sure it's all going to come out in Chapter 11, but uh, that's really what it comes down to. I will not accept the fact that, oh, it was just victim of circumstance. You have to take responsibility. They have to take responsibility. Gary Reed, it's okay for you to be biased with your coins, but not Rob. That's right. That's a good one. Uh, crypto is still early and future use cases haven't been dreamed of yet, which is always very right. So it doesn't matter how far ahead a project is now, especially most activities from NFTs and unintentional Ponzi's. Think about it this way. If you're in 1980 and you're perusing the classified sections in a newspaper and you're looking for advertisements for jobs and somebody says here, I need someone who can do SEO op optimization, search engine optimization, I need someone who can also do uh, buying and selling of Facebook ads. Oh, and also I need someone who can do a vlog for me for my website. You'd be like, what the heck is this? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the things that are out there now, hold on. Sorry. The, the, the things that we think about of what we believe crypto, digital assets, metaverse plays, NFTs are going to be, it's going to change radically. It's the same thing when I went through for the internet. We really did think that the government would never allow the internet because it was a free flow of information. We, had, we just never thought it was gonna actually happen and it did happen. And then we thought it was only gonna be, swear to God, a lot of people thought this, like one website and that would be everything. You just go to this one website and it'd be there. And we had no idea what it was. And <clears throat> to think about a place where you could stream movies, that'll never work. Heck, I remember having a Blockbuster account and going to Blockbuster, renting the VHS. And then when I was older, I got to rent DVDs. And uh, I was like, who would try to stream a... That's stupid. And then, of course, you, you look at the, at the streaming of the videos. That's all chunky and, and blocky. Like, that's never going to work. So, again, I was right. We, we're never going to know what's going to be until we get there. <sighs> 
Arthur says, just here to like your video. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, Arthur. Cornucopia is a rock star team. It looks good. Iguana, Puerto Rico. Cardano is the boomer coin. That could be true. I'm not a boomer yet. Close to it, but uh, I like it. I'm more bullish. But you have to understand also, uh, I own Cardano and Bitcoin and Ethereum and Solana and Avalanche and Near Protocol and a bunch of others because I don't know who's going to make it. I mean, if you think if you think just because someone's a first mover, that means that uh, they're going to be the best thing of all time and it's going to be last forever. Go ask the people who found in MySpace and let them tell you. So we'll see. Oops, sorry. I'm more bullish on ADA in the very long term since ETH is just 55% complete, even with how far ahead it's on its activity since there's too much risk with things going wrong. Bridge and Lafer. See, that's just, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I still own Ethereum. As much as and I think Iguana said it a lot in this one and how great Ethereum is, it is doing pretty good. It's got the lion's share. It's, I mean, as far as like uh, for total value locked up in DeFi right now, it's hitting all cylinders. That's true. But there's problems across there. You can't say it's the most awesome thing of all time. We'll talk about fees and we'll talk about transaction speed and all that stuff. It is what it is. Nothing's, nothing can really handle a lot of things on a global scale for billions of transactions or billions of people. I don't think it's, it's there yet. Uh, that game looks sick. I got to agree. I'm not an NFT guy, says St. Jude needs us. And that makes believe, and, and it makes believe that land is just not something I feel good investing in. I don't blame you. When I took a look at it, I was like, Ugh. like I invest in the land and properties and things like that. But when I take a look at a virtual land, I'm like, this, this, it's just hard to say because there's really not much scarcity, you know? You can just create more. But I also remember this. I also remember back in the day when people would say, why would I, why would I invest in a company called Google when I can just make a Google? I swear to God, we said that. And uh, we're like, what's the difference between Google and Yahoo and Lycos and Ask Jeeves? It's all the same stuff anyhow, right? You can just make another one. Why would I invest? That's stupid. I wouldn't invest in Google. Here we are. Uh, have you ever seen how big uh, ETH ecosystem is? I'm like, no, there's nothing to use. Well, you know, again, I mean, just like I showed you uh, with those other projects. I'm not going to say it. ETH, ETH is crushing it. They have, they have the most, but they've been around a little bit longer, right? 2015 or so, I think. Here's the ecosystem. Nobody cares. Here's how much they have uh, as far as staked. Pretty good amount. And one more thing, when ETH 2.0 comes about, I was under the impression you could unstake, but you can't unstake the ETH that you put in there until the Shanghai upgrade, which is going to be in six to 12 months later. So I'm just saying. But on the flip side of that, the Ethereum Foundation did say that uh, the rewards could go up by 50%. So that's pretty nice, actually. So Cardano staking ratio. Here's the top 10 crypto assets by staking market cap. Ethereum is number one, true. Solana is number two, and Cardano is number three. Not a bad company. Polkadot, Binance Chain. DeFi Llama, here's the total amount of total value locked up for, as far as DeFi, $72 billion. Ethereum has a lion's share. Very true, $45 billion. Uh, Bitcoin's got a whopping $118.55 million, and Cardano's only got $118.56 million. So at least it beats Cardano. And then we talk about transaction and fees. Crypto fees for Ethereum is, is huge. Like if you take a look, there's a website, <clears throat> cryptofees.org, or sorry, cryptofees.info. And one day fees for Ethereum is a lot. They have a, a lot of fees, which is good if you're a company, right? Because you can generate revenue. And if you take a look at yes, for, uh, for fees, US value, average transaction fee was about $4. This was back in July 28th. I just did a transaction, it was only like two bucks. I guess not too many people are using uh, Ethereum as much. Cardano, this is a, was this a one day? Yeah, the one day fees for Cardano is $13,000. <laughs> That's laughable. Ethereum with $3,655,731. That's triple, it takes the cake though, seven, 750 bucks. That's pretty good. And again, 19 cents was the average transaction. And uh, what is this one? Some cost of transactions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the uh, the amount of transactions or how many transactions. 
Ethereum, if you look at just the transactions in Masari, Ethereum crushes Cardano. The transaction count was 1,158,621. That was on July 31st. And uh, Cardano only had 91,000. But you have to remember, you can put multiple assets on each transaction. And that's why you do what's called an entrusted, adjusted transaction volume. This is an estimated on trans transaction volume for the past 24 hours, adjusted to try and remove some type of non-economic transactions, you know, back and forth, nonsense stuff, like approving your entry into MetaMask or whatever else. Um, for the adjusted transaction volume, uh, in one day, Ethereum did 1.52 billion. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. But Cardano did 7.82 billion for the adjusted transaction volume. That's just not me. And you can verify all this stuff. There's all the places I found it on Masari, on Crypto Fees and Info, DeFi Llama, whatever else. And the link is in the description. It's, where did I put it? It's called uh, Rip Cardano Ghost Chain. There's a link. You can check it out. So pros and cons, my man, pros and cons. Uh, Brandon's got a good question. And so I need to bring this up to Josh and Rob. How are you guys making the game? We're talking about cornucopias, economics so that you avoid the problem that Axie underwent and is actually currently on, undergoing with assets getting too valuable for new people to come in. I remember, I think Josh said something about that. He said, we're going slow because we don't want to be drained as far as the economic factors. And as far as like a play to earn game, what if you just have a run on the game and people, they earn too much and just drains the entire game. I think that's what's one of the problems with Axie. I, I can't speak to it because I don't really follow Axie. Remember, super biased on this channel. I don't talk about it unless I own it. So I don't own Axie, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> Gotta love it. CKJ's total disappointment is Ethereum 2.0 on the still high fees. That's eh, not a... Look, everybody wants the fees to go down, but it's just not yet. Look, the next one, the merge is happening. I want to say it's going to happen relatively soon. Correct me in the comments. But I know it's... God, when is it? I forgot. It's coming up. I think it's like a week, week and a half or so, somewhere around there. Um, and they talk about how fees are still high. That's still the truth. But remember, there's still one more level to go to get to the, the ETH 2.0 or whatever they want to call it now, which is sharding. And once that happens, then the fees do go lower. But we're early, so who knows? Hmm. I did not know this. Darth Mike says the usual develop cycle for a game is around four years. That's a lot. And I was surprised what Josh said about Star Atlas, uh, the game I think that's built on the Solana platform. Eight years is when they're projecting, you know, mass, the mass release. That's a long time. And that could be, I don't know, that's just what Josh said. Now, I mean, this is very great. Thank you. <laughs> when chatting about pros and cons of beta, please hit the like button. And then uh, you're entitled to your opinion. I think that if this space taught us something is to be humble and now and know that we don't know. It's just like, it's like Seneca. Is it Seneca? Seneca or Marcus? No, it wasn't Marcus Ruiz. I think it was Seneca. He said, uh, I'm the smartest man in the world because I know that I know nothing. By the dip when moon O says it's still technically alt season even after the dump from the weekend per alt side alt season index oh where do you find that I'm, I'm interested alt season index that'd be interesting hit the likes where can i check what percentage of nodes have upgraded eduardo that's a great question you're looking for uh, this website right here it's pooltool.io and i link that in the description so you can verify this stuff which is right here. Pool tool, Cardano data, pool tool.io network health. Should take you right here. Oh, look, even in this time that we've been talking, it's gone from 51% to 52%. So they're upgrading. Hey, look at that. Looking pretty good. Breaking news. <laughs> All that stuff. <laughs> I'm, that's funny. I'm staking. Yeah, ETH staking, not my keys, not my crypto. No, thank you. It's one of those things I don't, that's why I do like, Cardano knocked it out of the park for staking. 
I don't care if you love Ethereum or you love Solana or love whatever else. They really did crush it. Uh, you keep your keys, your private keys. You can stake your Cardano. You don't have to lock it up, which I understand why people want them to lock it up because it uh, maintains the reliability of the network and then it's a, it's a, there's an economic incentive. I understand that. But it's pretty interesting that Cardano holders can lock up or not lock up, but stake their Cardano and take it out at any time they want to, but it's still over 71% of all the Cardano is being staked. And if you don't believe me, just go to stakingrewards.com. You can see the data yourself. So in that regard, and it works flawlessly, we have, a stake, we have two stake pools. Works out great. And that's it. Cornicum is amazing. Yeah, no lockup for Ada. Thanks, Jeremy. Best friend in town. Vote with your thumb. And we're coming up on that time, folks. I don't own Ergo. Do you not own Ergo? I remember seeing you liking tweets with Ergo, but I never see you talking about it. Yeah, because there's a lot of projects I should look into. I just don't because there's other things going on. Because remember, it's not just this I have to do. You know, Other stuff takes my time, so uh, I haven't really gotten into it. I need someone to like give me like the the cliff notes. Um, <laughs> I got a call from them saying deadlines tomorrow. Randy says I trust staking. Staking fees are high. I just stake my polka dot. I do have to do a video on that, matter of fact, because just know that uh, with iTrust, Roth IRA, all that stuff, it's the thing that's sitting above my head all the time on every video. Uh, they, lay, they rolled out their staking. You can stake your, 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 uh, your polka dot right now, and it's supposed to be a tax-free, but in their terms and conditions, it does state that, hey, if you earn more than $600 worth of staking rewards, we have to give you an, an, an uh, I think it's MISC 99 or a tax document. And it's up to you if you want to report it. And the reason I think is because the laws are so vague with, I mean, let's be honest. Congress and the SEC and the CFTC can't tell us if crypto is a security, if it's a currency, or if it's a commodity. They have no idea. I mean, they have their ideas, but no one's really saying this is what it is. Right now, it's not a security. Who knows what it's going to be? And then as far as like staking rewards in a Roth IRA, there's nothing concrete. So they're just saying, hey, talk with your CPA and go from there. I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing. I'm not saying what you should do. I'm not, a, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not your dad. So what I'm doing is I'm staking those, those polka dot in my Roth IRA, and I will not report the gains that I get from there. That is what I am doing. I've already talked to my CPA. They're like, this isn't, I don't, see why you would do that, but that's my CPA. Your CPA might be like, you got to, whatever, okay. But um, I'll figure that out, Randy. We'll go from there. Uh, I don't know if you should do that. I can't tell you what to do again, though. I'm going to take out a 10% loan, to, loan to buy low. Hey, I can't tell you what to do. Might be a genius move, might be... I'd lose 10%. Is 10, here's the real question as far as like risk. There's the three questions. Who, what, and squeeze. Who's this going to affect? What's the worst case outcome? And is the juice worth the squeeze? So who's it going to affect? Probably you, 10%, obviously. Is it going to affect your family and your kids if it's a, if it's a large percentage? I don't know. Um, what's the worst case scenario? Worst case scenario is everything crashes. Then you have margin calls. Then you have to fill those margin calls. And if you don't fill the margin calls, then guess what happens? You get liquidated. Oh, and another thing, once you get liquidated, that's a taxable event in America. I don't know where you're at. So you have to think about those. And then the last thing is, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is it, is it worth it to go out there and do those things and take the risk? I can't answer that, but that's for you. <laughs> I, I used to like to show Happy Day with the bonds. Da -da -da. I want Corona to succeed. So do I. That's why I invested into it. Everything I invest into, I want to succeed. Isn't that crazy? That's why I talk about it all the time. Yeah, Corner Kobe is equal Second Life. Second Life was a good game. And I think that's it. Did I miss anybody? Huh, David Allen's here just to hear me talk about Sweatcoin. Let's see. 
I need more dot. <laughs> Mom says you're bad on child support. My kids are gone. I think uh, dot is a proof of stake version of ETH. Ada has been proof of stake for over two years of without one outage or hack. Can't deny that. And that's it. All right. So, guys, that is it for today and gals. Uh, so thanks for sticking with me for an hour. It's amazing. So you guys are here. I appreciate it. I do like that. If you would be so kind, uh, hit the like button. You can subscribe. I don't know if YouTube's going to notify you, but it always helps the, with the metrics, which is great. So give that a shot. And that's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. Remember all the links in the description. You can check out whatever you want to do your own research, all that stuff. That's it. So thank you. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios. Mm -hmm.